So Kamila gave a speech yesterday at the Economic Club of Pittsburgh where she touted her economic plan to save America from <laughs> herself. But I must say that this was an absolutely horrid speech. It did nothing to benefit her. In fact, it probably did more damage than good. And even CNN admitted that there was no substance to this speech. But there are a few things that I want to point out especially to in the opening of her speech. I want to go through in this video and show you some things that are just downright terrifying if this woman actually becomes president. Let's do some fact checking, shall we? Here's how she opened her speech. Many Americans are worried about how they'll afford the prescription medication they depend on. All of this is happening at a time when many of the biggest corporations continue to make record profits while wages have not kept up pace. I understand the pressures of making ends meet. I grew up in a middle class family. Okay, first of all, that necklace looks kind of familiar. Where have I seen that? Oh, that's right. It's the $62,000 Tiffany necklace. <laughs> Duh. But I just want to point out, Kamila Harry, didn't grow up in like some struggling middle class family that couldn't make ends meet. Her Both of her parents were actually quite successful. She grew up in a very nice area. Once again, this is Kamila uh, trying to fit in, uh, be a chameleon, make herself sound like she knows exactly what you're going through in this economy that well, it has been destroying you for the last four years uh, under her watch. In fact, just take a little look see at what Sleepy Joe just said on The View. Th this was just the other day. And as vice president, there wasn't a single thing that I did that she couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to delegate her responsibility on everything from foreign policy to domestic policy. He literally said there wasn't a single thing that was done that she wasn't a part of. It, Kamila Harris is literally the czar of everything, not just the border, but everything. I feel like this is Sleepy Joe's way of like implicating her on what people can expect from her presidency, like literally everything that nobody wants. Remember, he also did this. Donald Trump intends to take America backward to the failed policies of the past. He has no intention to grow our middle class. He's only interested in making life better for himself and people like himself, the wealthiest of Americans. Oh wait, you mean the guy that has like five foreign assassin teams in the United States right now trying to hunt him down? And the same guy that had two failed assassination attempts on him where one actually hit him in the ear. And the guy who has had the entire weight of her justice system uh, dumped down on him and prosecute him for things that the literal sitting president right now did too. And the same guy that has a corrupt judge just waiting to sentence him to Rikers Island next month, which by the way, that same judge would like to see him locked up for the rest of his life. Listen, this has nothing to actually do with Trump. You don't have to like Trump, but this is the left's boogeyman. I've said this before, that Trump is just a code name for you. They, they hate you. If you're not a part of the left, if you're not indoctrinated into the left's ideologies, uh, into their insane radical agenda, then you are Trump. You are the boogeyman that they must get rid of. And here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the beauty of it all. We know how to build an economy like that. Do we? <laughs> we do know. You know? How to unlock okay. strong, shared economic growth hmm. for the American people. I have pledged that building a strong middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. This is the same woman that has been the VP, the vice president, for four years now. She hasn't done a single thing. And remember, Sleepy Joe implicated her as being literally a part of everything that he's ever done. In fact, not only has she not done any of these things that she talks about or touts that she will do, but she's quite literally done the opposite. 
of all of these things. She has shown you, she has proven to you who she will be as president by all of the things that she has done and frankly hasn't done as vice president. Just one example of this was the Inflation Reduction Act, which had nothing to do with reducing inflation. In fact, quite the opposite. It was a bill, a, well, a climate bill, to make the elites richer. Here's Sleepy Joe, just a few weeks ago, admitting that. My, uh, my investments, that through my investments, the most significant climate change law ever, and by the way, it is a $369 billion bill. It's called the, uh, we, we should have named it what it was, but, uh, but at any rate. Should have named it what it was. He's, he's talking about the Inflation Reduction Act, which he can't even remember the name of because it, it doesn't, it isn't named after what the bill actually is. It was a climate bill that is meant to make them richer. We just need to move past the failed policies that we have proven don't work. 